me, for I know that He alone can satisfy. Just to know, just to know, He's leading in my life. He's worth everything that I might sacrifice. Oh, I want Jesus. po sa lahat. Kumusta po tayo sa umagang ito? Today is July 3. Thank God it's Friday. Kumusta po tayo mga kapatid sa Panginoon? Kumusta po ang ating buhay ngayon? At uh, salamat po tayo sa Panginoon that uh, in spite of our unworthiness, in spite that we are not supposed to receive the blessing or His grace, still His grace is sufficient and enough to take away all our infirmities, take away all our things, the things that makasagabal sa ating relasyon sa Panginoon. Araw-araw po, bagong mga privilege. Bagong opportunity na binibigay ng Panginoon po sa atin. Good morning po, ating mga uh, naka-tune in ngayon, uh, naka-nanonood sa kay uh, Elera Villegas from Panabo. Panabo ka ba ma'am? And uh, or to, also to Rosaline Bagi dyan po sa Magsaysay Carmen, mayong buntag sa inyong tanan. And uh, magandang umaga, Pilipinas. Magandang umaga kung saan ka mang sulok ng mundo. Magandang tanghali, magandang hapon. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. 
Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao. Magandang umaga po. Naimbang na bigat ka na kayo amin. Uh, Diyan po sa gumatdang sa mga in-laws ko. Magandang umaga po sa inyo. Diyan po sa Olongga po. Sa kay uh, Era Tore. Good morning din po sa mga kapatiran din po sa Olongga po. Aking mga relatives din yan po sa Olongga po City. Good morning po sa inyong lahat. And also sa Baknotan area, Baknotan La Union. Sa Harvest Baptist Church, sa kay Sister Christy. Jabaro. To the rest, Pangot uh, Ati Maring. Good morning. Kay uh, Brother Tutong Delcano. Uh, maybe uh, you are now... Uh, preparing uh, bumalik na sa Iloilo sa Kirayan. I know that you you miss your your family now. Natangka ng Panginoon, I've been praying also for you. To Ma'am Cherry uh, Sidelio. Yan po sa Turil. Good morning po Ma'am no? pa, sa family mo kahit malayo po yung asawa mo. And all the believers over there, good morning po. At uh Labs, good morning. Kumana po. <laughs> May buntag din ha sa inyong tanan. O uh, sa Negros, mayong aga gid sa inyong tanan dira sa Bethel Baptist Church kay Pastor and Mrs. Sorry. Uh, Alba City Brothers Jan, good morning. O may ihado, good morning Pastor, Pastor Curvy Abelia. Yan po sa Calvary Baptist Church sa Turil, Davao City. Ga uh, Jan din po sa Himamaylan, especially sa Suay sa church ni Pastor Bravo. Praying that uh, uh, makapunta ko dyan during your uh, church anniversary sa month of November. Uh, kindly pray for us. And uh, ating mga celebrant ngayon sa araw na ito. Kami tayong mga celebrant ata, di ba? Pasa dito. Na nagbi-birthday. Pero happy birthday po sa inyo, July 3. At... Uh, Sana marami kayong regalo, hindi lang bati sa Facebook. <laughs> Kasi ang reality noon, pag mag-greet ng birthday, mayroon talang binabalot, di ba? Ngayon, greet na lang sa ano na eh. Isang uh, uh, greet sa Facebook, at saka mayroong uh, art na happy birthday, yun na lang. Talagang uh, new normal na talaga. Pero still, we are so thankful sa Panginoon na ating mga birthday celebrant no? si Ma'am Judith uh, uh, Guarty, Ma'am thank you and uh, good morning to Dr. Maribek Colong, good morning din po sa inyo dyan. Naimbag na bigat ni Jay, bakit? Tangay. And uh, to uh, Pastor uh, G Joshua Jishoha Narigat Kamsat Pastor Amistad, uh, good morning And uh, din dyan din po sa part ng Northern Luzon. No? Basta po kayo dyan. At uh, na okay lang kayo dyan. Panay, Pastor Oliverio, kay Lobert, sa kay uh, 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 Ma'am Shai Shai. Kahapon man ang birthday ni Budoy. Labs, kahapon to, humana. Pero si Pastor Raul man ang naghuyop sa kwan, sa cake. Nagang ito, kwan ato ba, mga germs nga naggapo ato. Sa lingig, gumusta po kayo dyan, Pastor Raul. And uh, brethren, dyan po sa mga goy po, the Middle Baptist Church, sa kanilang... Uh, Bagong pastor, Pastor Kerwin Espero. At uh, kay Pastor Randy Ritisa, uh, diya lang sa mudoy, pag uh, patambok sa diha before mo mag-uli dari sa Dabao. There Charlene and the kids, and all the believers there. And then sa pastor, sa, pastor sa, sa Buyagan Tres, good morning pastor. And uh, kabay pa ang gino magpakamaayo. Uh, nagpasalamat kita sa Ginoo sa iyang uh, kaayog yun sa ato. Yan po sa LA, good morning din po sa inyo. Kaya, uh, Pastor and Mrs. Celis, 
sa inyo po dyan. At uh, kay Sharon uh, Gabion dyan po sa Las Vegas. Dyan din po sa Canada. Happy Canada. At uh, ang mga Canadians, celebrate sila ng uh, kanilang araw din po dyan. Mga Pilipino, good morning din po sa inyo dyan. Uh, nagapasalamat kita sa ginoong uh, oh, napapasalamat po tayo no? Na, all the time uh, always God is good to my friend, to my kumpare uh, brother Charlie Juarez dyan po sa Panabo good morning din po sa inyo huwag uh, hinout on taang uh, ang ginoong magpakamayo your kids and uh, ino po pang igigreet natin dito uh, salamat salamat sa inyo And to my bayaw, good morning, uh, June. Bayaksan, DJ, uh, gumatdang, uh, itugon binggit. Kumusta kayo, DJ? Ati Beatrice, Malakdaw family. And to Titus, to Casey, and to your wife din. Uh, kay din din, good morning sa inyo dyan. And to your, your baby, nalipatak tinaga na. <laughs> And uh, amok nga adoti ubing, DJ, uh, bisil. Tabalak daw palang puno na ang bisil. So, uh, good morning din po sa inyo dyan. Kahapon, tapikas no, kay attorney. Tarilio. To, uh, ay Maritso dyan po sa buhangin. Good morning. Ayong buntag sa inyo na Maritso Fernandez. So, good morning sa inyo din. Amin diha gabi sa inyo tapad. So before mayroon kayong mga prayer request, kindly uh, comment po para ma-prehan po natin. At uh, uh, makagreet din po ako sa inyo. And uh, thank you so much for all the blessing na binigay ng Panginoon sa atin. Huwag, uh, yes, mayong buntag sa imong diretso and then to your family and to your beautiful Ladies din ha. <laughs> may buntag dia sa da, nga dapit sa may St. Jude. No? Jude as, uh, school. Uh, Umari sa kay uh, Mrs. Matuti. Good morning sa inyo din ha. Matuti family, good morning po sa inyo. Uh, still, sa Dabaw, uh, medyo mahirapan pa tayo magsimba kasi uh, we're not allowed to attend church even though na pwede na ang 50%. Pero hindi pwede sa araw ng linggo. So, ang ating uh, local government suggested na kung pwede, magpili lang tayo from Monday to Saturday. So, uh, paborito sa mga sabadista kasi sabado ang kanilang simba. Pero sa atin na uh, linggo, pagpatuloy lang natin na uh, dito tayo live stream. No? Hanggang na maka katipo na tayo, makatigom na tayo sa church. I would like also to, ano na, uh, mayroon akong mga desire sa puso ko, prayer, na uh, i-ano ko lang ito pag uh, makumplito na, ma masagot na ng Panginoon itong desire ko. This is also for the pioneering churches. No? Uh, uh, Pag-pray po natin ito. So before we, we, we uh, uh, going on to our morning devotion, Nasa Psalms chapter 17 na po tayo. Ang Psalms chapter 17, mayroong 15 verses. At uh, ang title po ng ating uh, meditation this morning is uh, Hear me, hold me, and hide me. So chapter 17 was uh, written by uh, no other than... Uh, Uh, King David ihatag na diri sa turil ang amplifier pastor na de inugatag okay uh, yes Jay I will going to pray for your son Albin na magtitake po siya ng MacBoard exam ngayong July 13 sa architecture to ma'am no di ba uh, MacBoard uh, exams para sa mga Architect. Okay. So, uh, yes, we're going to pray for him. And uh, 
Okay, ano lang, no? Ano natin? Mag-pray natin yan, Pastor Kirby, ah. Uh, okay, ibigay ko dyan po ang amplifier sa kanila ni Ihado, Ralph. Okay, ayusin ko muna. Uh, testing na, i-testing namin to kung uh, okay pa siya kay matagal-tagal to na, na, ano, eh, na, 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 natago. So, uh, kami lalabas ako para, ano na. Then, pag-pray natin na makahanap din tayo ng speaker para dire-diretso na na magamit itong uh, amplifier. Uh, ano na. So, close na ang deal. Ang amplifier mo add to sa inayawan. Sa turil. In turil bang inayawan, Pastor Kirby? So, uh, ayun na pag anhidri. Kaya, uh, mag-ingon lang ko kung kanos ano. Kaya, ako sa testingan. Uh, matesa na ako. Inayawan. Kung saan ang interview ni mo? Interview sa... Psalms chapter 17 for this morning. Let us pray. Lord, thank you so much for this morning, for allowing us to breath. Thank you, Lord, for another day of celebration because of your goodness and faithfulness to us. Salamat, Panginoon, na sa kalagitnaan ng ganito mga eksperyensya namin, we're still enjoying your fellowship, the fellowship with one another and the fellowship with you. And thank you, Jesus, for uh, the gift of salvation. Thank you, Lord, for forgiveness of sin. Thank you for dying on the cross because of our sins. Lord, indeed, thank you for making this life out from darkness, cleansing us through your blood, and make this uh, dirty life become uh, white as snow. And thank you, Lord, for allowing us to broadcast, relying the power from you. And I know that we are not just doing this in order to do things, but we are doing this because this is the command. This, this is our task. This, this, is our, this is our love to the brethren and to those who have not yet Christ in their lives. Father, indeed, I know that our my, my capacity, my my ability is so limited. I'm just relying the power from you, Lord. Alam ko, Panginoon, na tutulungan mo ang bawat isa na sumusunod sa iyong mga layunin, sa iyong uh, the Great Commission na binigay mo sa bawat isa. Lord, help us to, to love lost soul. Live us, help us, Lord, to love others. Thank you, Lord, that the blessing that you have given to us, we share this to others. Thank you so much, Lord, for your grace that is good, new every morning. Lord, I've been praying for our brethren, my sister-in-law, Ati Beatrice Balakdaw, Lord, you know, sa kanyang uh, sitwasyon, kanyang sakit, Panginoon. We're relying sa iyo, Panginoon, na pagalingin mo siya. With her family, we have Fernan and the kids and mga apo. Lord, provide their needs to may bayaw to Jun, Bayaksan, and, and, and his family. Lord, protect him and provide also the needs day by day. And the rest of my in-laws. I've been also praying for Pastor Notarte. I pray, Lord, for total healing. And uh, bigyan mo ng wisdom ang doktor sa pag-diagnose uh, ang kanyang sakit. So sa Ogin also, uh, senior namin ng mga pastor na uh, may mga karanamdaman sa Panginoon sa katawan. Father Bibot Montiklaro, I've been praying for him also, Lord. I'm also praying, Lord, for uh, Pastor Kervis sa kanyang interview. Uh, we don't know kung anong klaseng interview ito, Panginoon, but tulungan mo po siya. Uh, allow na makamit niya kung ano man ang uh, mga desire niya sa kanyang buhay. I've been also praying, Lord, for uh, 
my family, Northside Baptist Church, ang bawat pamilya, bawat individual Panginoon, ingatan mo sila. I also praying Lord for uh, uh, Ma'am Cherry uh, Sidilio San Alvin na uh, kukuha po siya ng kanyang uh, MAC board exam, MAC board exam Panginoon that will be on July 13. I pray Lord for wisdom. I pray Lord na tulungan mo siya. At uh, ang bawat desire namin Panginoon. I pray Lord for this country of ours. I pray for our president. I pray Lord for uh, government officials that they will do their task with honesty and they themselves will recognize you as their Lord and Savior. And for our leadership here also in Davao City, our mayor in Daisara Duterte Carpio, the rest of mga congressman, uh, mga, oh yes, congressman and local officials Panginoon, down to the barangay captains. I pray Lord for them. All of us Lord na sumunod po kami. Mga pastor na nag uh, nagpre-preach to live stream, gamitin mo Panginoon. I pray nung June na uh, Hoyda, doon, doon po sa Binalbagan, gamitin mo po ang kanilang uh, radio uh, ministry at uh, gamitin mo siya Panginoon. I pray also for Brother Jonathan Coronel and his family. Oh Lord, uh, protect them and also uh, give solution to every problems. I pray also Lord for Pastor Itabag uh, Natago Missionary Baptist Church, Panginoon. I pray, Lord, for wisdom for him as he leads the church. Ang, uh, radio, ministry, ang radio ministry nila, Panginoon. At uh, gamitin mo ito. Salamat sa kanyang uh, uh, talent na sinishare niya po sa iba. Uh, continue to bless his family. And to all birthday celebrants, Lord, for this morning, I've been praying for them. Be thankful for another year for their lives. At gamitin nila ito, Panginoon, sa iyo. At uh, we're also praying, Lord, for pastor's family. We're also praying for Pastor Tamsi. Sana gumaling siya, Lord, totally. Also for uh, Rose Bagi, ang kanyang uh, family, na makakilala sa iyo bilang ilang personal at uh, uh, sariling tagapagligtas. And all the brethren there in uh, La Union, praying also, Lord. Church, Harvest Baptist Church with Pastor Maimon uh, Oliverio. His wife, si Mabel, Madel, praying Lord for the families there. Thank you, Lord, for her, their love. To Ma'am Christy uh, Jabaro, thank you, Lord, for her and her family. Continue to bless her, Lord. And to Manang Maring Pangot, continue to bless her also and uh, provide also the needs. And I uh, pray for Sharon Gabion, uh, Las Vegas. Praying, Lord, for... Uh, Protektahan mo siya, Panginoon, sa mga uh, desire ng kaaway na uh, tinasiraan siya, Panginoon. Brother Tutong Delcano, sa kanyang pag-uwi sa Luilo, from Finland, uh, ingatan mo siya, Panginoon. Lord, are you also praying for my desire? Uh, makatulong sa mga pioneering churches, Lord, through this uh, uh, sound system, Panginoon. I pray, Lord, na kung sino man ang nakarinig nito, maka, ano na, mayroong desire na magtulong. Uh, kailangan talaga, Lord, ang sound system sa bawat uh, simbahan. I don't pray for the Lord na sana i-grant mo itong mga desire po namin. Lord, thank you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, uh, isang bagay po na makita po natin dito. So, uh, Psalms chapter 17. Uh, ano natin? The word, uh, I mean, sa Psalms 17, uh, th there are three words na sinasummarize itong chapter chapter 17, itong 1 to, 100, 1 to 15 na verse. Ang una na word na makita po natin, ang word na er, makinig. Sabi niya sa verse 1, sabi sa verse 1 ni uh, itong uh, chapter na ito, kasahin ko ito para sa inyo, O Lord, hear my plea for justice. Listen to my cry for help. Pay attention to my prayer, for it comes from honest lips. So, makita natin dito that 
King David started this uh, this chapter with a cry. Sabi niya, Lord, pakinggan mo ako. Hear a just cause, O Lord. Attend to my cry. You know what David was saying? I want the Lord to, to, to listen to me because my heart is right. You have tested my heart. Sabi sa verse, sa verse 3. You, know? you have tested my heart. So when did God do that? Sabi sa verse 3, you have visited, sabi sa verse 3, you have tested my thoughts and examined my heart in the night. You have scrutinized me and found nothing wrong. I determined not to sin in what I say. So King David is appealing to the Lord na pakinggan siya. You have visited, sabi niya, Lord, you have visited me during the night. You know what? The dark times of life are when God prove us. He also proved himself to us. He's proving you and proving himself to you. God knew that David's heart was right. Si sabi nga ni David, Hear a just cause, O Lord. You not remember when you were in the darkness, when you are in danger, when you are facing difficulties, ang Diyos po nakikinig sa atin. Don't think that when, when, when difficulties comes, walang pakialam ang Diyos. David testified na ang sabi niya, Lord, sabi niya, you have tested my thoughts and examined my heart in the night. And even sabi niya, you scrutinized me and found me nothing wrong. Sabi ni David. So in our, in our darkness situation in life, so Pastor uh, Otakan, good morning Pastor, good morning, good morning sa inyo dyan sa Bayugan 3. Uh, Agusan, uh, so also to Mrs. Tamsi, uh, uh, Ma'am, good morning, I've been praying for Pastor um, uh, Pastor Tamsi. Remember what that during the time of darkness, when we are in danger, nasa panahon na talagang uh, uh, delikado ang buhay natin, kapag sinasabi kasi natin na darkness, ang, ib ang ibig sabihin noon, time na ang jabloy ay gumagalaw. Kaya nga, kinuha tayo galing sa darkness and God put us into light. Because ang darkness na nature hindi maganda. May mga danger na mangyayari. But during the time, God is listening to us. So that is the first one. The first word is here and then the second key word is hold. In verse number 5. Sabi niyo dyan sa verse number 5, My steps have stayed on your path. I have not wavered from following you. Yan sabi ni ano na. Yan ang sabi ni, uh, uh, ni, ni, ni King David. So, sabi niya, uphold my steps in your path that my footsteps may not slip. You know what? David wasn't simply standing still, doing nothing. O nga, paano ka man madulas kung nakatayo ka lang? He was on the move. When we were in darkness, we move one step at the time as the Lord direct us. You know what, kapatid? Even though that we are praying for the Lord, but God wants us to put to, to put in action kung ano po yung piniprihan natin. David, when he said, Lord, attend to my cry. You visited me during the night, during, during my dangerous situation in life. In the darkness situation of my life, you were there. I faced difficulties, problems in life. I know, Lord, you, you, you listened to me. So, please, sabi niya, uphold my steps. Na hindi ako madulas. Because I do the, do, I do the work.
When we were in darkness, we move one step at a time, as I said before, and God direct us. We don't just, just sit still and wonder what is going to happen next. Diba? Sabi nga, minsan, you ask the Lord to provide you your needs, but you are just sitting on your rocking chair and waiting for, for the needs to come. It will not happen. David saying was, God, I'm going to get moving. You've got to hold me up. Direct me, Lord. Paano ka, paano ka, tututa, paano ka i-guide ng Panginoon? Paano ka i-direct ng Panginoon sa tamang daan if we're not moving? Di ba? God is, I, I believe God is a God of action. He doesn't want that we just stand still. Or maybe in your comfort zone. I don't want I want I I I don't I don't want to step and fall sabi niya kaya sabi ng Jude chapter 1 verse 24 ano sabi niya ni, ni Jude he wrote now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present your faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy see God will listen to us and he will uphold us he will hold us and to direct us to the path that is the good direction. So we need to go move. We need to go on action. We, we need to move. So that He will guide us. He will direct us to the right path. Pastor Maymon Oliverio, may agada sa imo, Pastor, sa baknotan, la onion. And the third one is, the word is, hide. Keep me as an apple of your eye, hide me under the shadow of your wings. Sabi ng verse 8. Ba? Ano sabi ng verse 8? Binasa ko lang, o binasa ko na. Guard me as you would guard your own eyes. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. Ito po yung version ng NLT. Protect me from the wicked people who attack me. From murderous enemies who surround me. They are without pity. Listen to their boasting. They track me down and surround me. Watching for the chance to throw me to the ground. They are like hungry lions. Eager to tear me apart like your lions hiding in the ambush. Wow. Ito po yung mga kalaban natin. Mga kalaban natin. So, David said, Lord, hide me. A shadow is not good protection. Do you believe in that? Your shadow could not protect you. But if it is the shadow of God's wings, we can depend on it. Pag ang anino na ng Diyos o ang kanya, sabi dito, that the shadow of God's swing, ang pakpak ng Diyos, ang anino ng kanyang pakpak. Then there is what? There is, we are safe. Pero kung sarili nating anino, wala yun. Diba? Minsan nga, pag tumatakbo ka, nauuna pa yung anino sa'yo tumatakbo. So we can depend on it. And what wings did David refer to? Ano ba ang wings na sinasabi ni David dito? This is the wings of the cherubim in the Holy of Holies. And David was saying, I'm coming to the very throne of God. Please hide me and hold me and hear me. And God replied, David, I'll do it. I'm going to carry you through your dark time. Yan ang promesa ng Diyos sa bawat isa. Sabi nga sa verse 13, Arise, O Lord, stand against them and bring them to their knees. Rescue me from the wicked with your sword. By the power of your hand, O Lord, destroy those who look to his world for their reward, but satisfy 
the hunger of your treasure ones. May their children have plenty, living an inheritance for their descendants. And in verse 15, David says, Because I am righteous, I will see you when I awake. I will see your I will see you face to face and be satisfied. Oh what a glory. What a momentum na makita natin dito, kapatid. So David summarizes his cry sa Panginoon sa sa, sa chapter na ito. Everyone must face dark times. Yes. Lahat po tayo niyan mag-experience yan ng dark times. God allow times of testing because He uses them to accomplish His purposes sa atin. So the question is this, kapatid, are you facing a difficulty today? Maybe ang sagot natin, yes. Remember, God is faithful. He will listen to you and direct you through the darkness. Alalayan ka niya na makalabas ka sa madilim na sitwasyon ng buhay mo. Let Him prove you and give Him opportunity to prove Himself to you. Did you allow Him to do something para sa iyo? Na maipakita ng Diyos Natutuo siya, sinsero siya sa kanyang mga promesa at sa kanyang salita. Why not allow Him to come into your life? Receive Him as your Lord and Savior. Sabihin mo, Lord, kailangan kita. Gusto ko manging anak mo. Gusto, gusto ko manging uh, kasali ako sa, kanyo, sa, sa kingdom mo. I want to receive you as my Lord and Savior. Lord, I'm repented for the sins. Lord, cleanse me. And then God will going to accept you. That is 100%. Kapatid. God will prove sa iyo na kung ano siyang klaseng Diyos. Because for me, for us, na mga anak niya, He proved it. He has proven Himself to us. So sana this morning, ma-remind ma ma po tayo that God listen to us, hear, hear us, He hold us, and then He hide us under His wings. Sana kapatid, uh, maalala po natin itong mga bagay na ito na makapagbigay po sa atin ng, ng assurance na Nadyan po siya sa atin. So Lord, thank you so much for this morning. Thank you for those who, who watch at uh, magsishare po nito. At salamat po no, sa inyong provision na binibigay po sa amin. Sa lahat ng mga pastor na kikinig, again, to Pastor Nembrad Otakan, dyan po sa Bayugad Tres, sa Rosario, good morning din po sa inyo dyan. Kay Pastor uh, Amor dyan po sa Rosario. And also to my Ihado and Ihada, sa kay Pastor Brian, and then sa kay, uh, uh, to, to his wife. No? Salamat kay Nabuntis na yun. No? So, uh, there will be a baby in the family. So, uh, thank you so much. May God bless us all.